بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ڈسکس ہسٹوریکل ایولیوشن آف پبلک پالیسی ان پاکستان دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک فار ایگزامس ناؤ وی ڈسکس پرسپیکٹو آن پالیسی میکنگ ان ڈیولپنگ کنٹریز انکلوڈنگ پاکستان موسٹ ریسنٹلی A number of researchers, particularly having a research interest in developing countries, have presented three perspectives to guide discussion on policy making in developing countries. First is external perspective, the second one is internal perspective, and the third one is contingency perspective. A brief discussion. on each of these perspective is presented below now first we discuss external perspective what is external per- perspective this perspective argues that developing state are impassive receive receivers of policies from developed countries either directly or indirectly through international development organization and global financial bodies such as the world bank international monetary fund usaid dfid and jaica etc a number of researcher considers that it happened particularly in the sphere of economic policy while others argue that policy formulation is outwardly determined in all policy sectors they view the developing countries as being choiceless the choicelessness is revealed in policy content and mechanism policy mix and the ske- scheduling and facing there is either no or limited debate on different aspect of policy and institutional reform issues next we discuss internal perspective okay this perspective highlighted objection or conflicting views related to external perspective it is calm that developing countries are not simply policy punching bag that indoor remains smashed by outer powers it is calm that choice about public policy are determined by internal internal forces this country stake policy decision which are influenced by their own political administrative and cultural tradition as well as the governing style even if they are adopting internal best sorry international best practices either through emulation or learning from best practices policy decision making is voluntary not coercive involving discussion and participation among stakeholders now the third one we discuss institutional perspective or we can say that contingency perspective it is argued that both internal and external view represent a drastic over simplification of the highly intricate process of public policy making and really it all depends on the institutional practice norms procedures and culture of the organization which influence the independent decision making whether uh, sorry whether policy is externally driven or internally driven its formulation effective implementation and sincere evaluation depends on a number of factors such as the nature of policy issues 
focusing event administrative and political tradition political leadership policy analysis capacity style of governance and stage of development now we discuss network governance perspective this is also part of the evolution of public policy so more recently drawing upon the new public management philosophy of partnership efficiency responsiveness and participation in governance process network governance approach is also offered offered as a competing framework to refer to collaborative policy process and strategies for effective and efficient delivery of public service based on the same theme of public private and civil society partnership i hope you will understand these all notes of evolution of public policy so if you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel and also like comment and share this video with your friends thank you